A spokesperson for the airport says even though plane crashes and in-flight emergencies are rare, they're taking every step they can to make sure everyone that responds to these situations knows exactly how to help. You'll need to use your imagination for this one. These four buses on this field right by the runway at PBIA are meant to simulate pieces of a plane after a tragedy. <laughs> Luggage scattered as if the airplane had shattered. Fake smoke and all. Wednesday morning, around 80 volunteers and dozens of first responders gave it their all as if in a real emergency on the tarmac. Kind of felt unreal, really real. They had the smoke and everything for the plane crash. Everybody was separated and then they had clothing, the baggages on the floor because in a real scene, they wouldn't all be like stable or anything like that. These volunteers, students from South Tech Academy in Boynton Beach, also hope to learn from this exercise. They're part of the school's medical academy. They are simulating injuries that uh, real victims might have if there was an incident. That really helps the first responders know what to look for, who to treat first. And if we did have a real incident, um, this is the same process that they would follow. Please, somebody! So everybody was in different type of clothing because when you go on a, on a plane, everybody's not in the same clothing or anything like that. So it kind of been weird if we were all in uniform. And you know, some of them, if they had like an injury to their leg, you would have to cut open their pants and, and um, pants and take care of the injury, things like that. Also involved the Department of Airports. A spokesperson says airplane accidents are rare, but they want to make sure everything on their end is up to standard. So the FAA requires that PBI and all of our partners here at the Department of Airports uh, conduct drills periodically in the unlikely event uh, that there is an aircraft incident so that we're ready. Several agencies had something to learn here from airline crews to firefighters all the way to the FBI and the Federal Aviation Administration. And in terms of how many people this could impact, well, PBIA says they serve around 7 million people each year. At Palm Beach International Airport, I'm Victor Jorge.